So last week, several Wall Street brokerage firms quietly took steps to curb shorting against Reddit investor favorites, uh, Goldman, Bank of America, Citi, and, 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 and Jefferies. They all took action. In fact, uh, Jefferies added, until further notice, Jefferies' prime brokerage will no longer offer custody on naked options. Now, here's the rub, folks. Naked shorting is, was made illegal after the 2008-2009 financial crisis. So the big question is, why is this still happening? Well, we're going to ask uh, attorney advocate against naked shorting, uh, naked short selling. Wes Christian is with us. And Wes, just first, if you can, for the audience, people who are unfamiliar, what is naked shorting? Well, first, Charles, thanks for having me. Uh, naked shorting simple version is a seller sells stock that they don't have to a buyer who sees it in their account electronically, but it hasn't been delivered. And the buyer gives the seller money that for ultimately nothing that was delivered. The simple version would be if you and I, Charles, took our car title and Xerox did a hundred times and sold it to a hundred people and each of them paid us cash, we, but we only had one car, that would be a good analogy to what naked short selling is. In Texas, simple version, we call that stealing. So that's, that's what naked <laughs> short selling is. Okay. And that would explain, um, how a GameStop could see 140% of the float shorted because the same stocks were de facto borrowed or not borrowed again and again and again. No, no, no doubt. And, and there's really multiple reasons for, for why it still exists. W one is it's an enormously large problem, contrary to what some of the uh, other financial press says. For example, in 1993, uh, the fails to deliver were probably uh, several million dollars. By 2003, those fails to deliver in the aggregate were about $6 billion. According to a Suzanne Trembass book, Naked, Short, and Greedy, which came from a, the source of the SEC, just in two weeks in July, the fails to deliver were $17 billion. So at the end of the wow. day, uh, another, another study that Dr. Rob Shapiro, a former Undersecretary of Commerce, did many years ago, uh, he's with Sonicon now, uh, he did a study that showed that 500 million to a billion shares were not timely delivered, Charles. Now, to be fair, if you take that out 30 days, 60 days from when delivery should have occurred, that number goes to about half. But it is a systemic okay. problem. And, it, and it's go ahead. Sorry. So, so no, because I so, don't want to run out of time. And I, I've got a couple of other things. Hedge funds, we know, are, are, are big culprits. How? So, I mean, what do you what's going to happen here? I guess let's cut to the chase. Will we see the SEC, will we see whoever's in charge take action on something that's happening, it's deemed illegal, it's harmful to the market? Will someone take action on behalf of individual investors? I think we're seeing a sea change. The, the, the reality is, who's really doing most of this from where I sit? And if you look at the regulatory actions at SEC.gov and FINRA, it's really the prime brokers. The reality is that there are some hedge funds, but it's the prop desk of the prime brokers who are doing the naked shorting from where I sit, or market makers. And so uh, ultimately, they've got to be looked at. And, and the SEC has fined a bunch of them for mismarking tickets uh, long when they're short, really, uh, for uh, pre-programming uh, pre computers to right. say a right. easy, hard to borrow stocks, easy to borrow. But ultimately, there is a movement and a sea change about not only because of the litigation we've done for 20 years with our whole legal consortium, but because of these uh, the Reddit groups and the subreddit groups, and frankly, more awareness being brought to this topic. Hopefully, also with the new SEC chairman that I'm hopeful will do something more than what's been done to date. Yeah. Yeah, Gen Gensler has made comments that gives me hope as well. Everyone knows the problem. We know it's all about money. It's all about Wall Street making money at the expense of an honest stock market. And that's why a lot of individual investors have shunned the market. And once they've gotten in, they become victimized by this. Wes, I wish we had more time. We don't. Uh, congratulations, though. You've got a lot of people out there looking up to you and hoping that you can uh, continue that 20 years worth of work. I think we're right at the finish line.